In this video, we're going to talk about the birth of a company. For pretty much the last 10 years, I've been urging you guys, pushing you guys to start a business. And a lot of people don't want to start a business because it's going to require that you do more. And many, many people don't want to do more. However, I feel that the Rona has exposed that notion and has set up many, many people who are now going to put in the work to start a business. They're going to birth a company because they have looked at what has happened. They've looked at these skinny stimulus checks. They've looked at these proposals and they're like, look, I am ready. I am able to take full responsibility of my life. And this video is for those people. We're going to talk about the birth of your company. Now, one of the things that happens, many people start companies for many, many different reasons. Men start companies different for different reasons than women start companies. Women start companies differently than men. But at the end of the day, it is all about creating greater freedom. It's not about the money. It's about creating greater freedom. So let me go ahead and give you the process. Remember I did this video about this Amazon guy who quit his job and just left the van where it was. He was tired of working 12 hours a day. He didn't have any freedom. And this is where many, many, many people are. They have no freedom. They wake up, they go to work, they come home, they have precious few hours for themselves. So let me go ahead and tell you, when you birth your company, you will not have freedom. In the beginning, you will not have freedom. You will be working harder than you've ever worked in your life. However, the freedom will come on the back end. Understand, because you know, I, 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 I see this, I have people all the time who's like, hey Glenn, I want to start a business so I have more freedom. And I started laughing because those first two to five years, you're not going to have that freedom. However, let's talk about the process. You have an ideal, you want to start a company, and in the beginning, it's just you. You're doing all the work, you're serving the customers, you're working long hours, this is where systems and processes come in. The sooner that you're able to automate, systemize your business and create processes, is the sooner the freedom comes. Because let's say you start a trucking company, big favorite around here. You're out there driving in your one truck. Then you want to create a system of where you have five, to 10 trucks out on the road with drivers in those trucks so you can stay home. What you've got to do is create the system. First of all, you've got to acquire the business. So you don't have to acquire the trucks. The trucks are easy. You can go to auctions. You can get trucks pretty easy. The, the most important thing is you have got to acquire the business. And once you work on business, because right now I'm working with a um, client who has a trucking company and he has three trucks and he wants to go ahead and grow the company. And I was like, well, this is what you got to do. You've got to go ahead and get contracts for your loads. You want to have dedicated routes. You want to have reliable money like contracts is contracts are like a subscription every month you're going to get X amount of dollars because you have this contract and this is what you want to work on. So what you've got to do is create a sales force to sell your trucking services to companies. You want to cut the broker out. You want to cut the load board out. You want to go straight direct to the customer. Hey, I've got a truck. I've got a driver. You've got loads. Let's talk. So this is one of the things that we're implementing. 
So you're going to have to, I, I know you don't want to hear this, but you're going to have to hire employees. And this is one of the most daunting things because many people are not acclimated to hiring employees. And it, depending upon your industry, you can have a situation where you can have really low turnover, insurance company or something real stable like that, but, or you could be in the trucking or you could be into fast food where your turnover is consistent. New person, person quits. New person, person quits. So this is something that you're gonna have to get a handle on and this is gonna be part of creating your systems. You must have a system to hire and train and acquire employees. Because this, like, once again, I know that here on YouTube, there, there was a, a Facebook post about this one person, million dollar Amazon FBA business. And it got a lot of tractions because people were like, this guy truly built a million dollar income as a one person Amazon FBA business. And he did it through automation, putting together systems and hacks. But that is really, really hard. It is really, really hard. And a lot of people were really interested because they, they want, because one of the things is when you birth a company, you've got to understand that the things that you want from the company are going to come later. They're not going to be at the front of the company. You're going to be working long hours. You're going to be doing many different things. You're going to be learning different things. However, let me go ahead and give you what happened to me. I used to be a storage auction reseller. I bought stuff from storage auctions and I had two warehouses that I sold the products out and I sold a lot of products online. I used eBay, I used Amazon, I used Craigslist. And this was the process. But even with this process, we had employees. We had 15 employees. Because the more that you bought, the more that you could sell. And this is one of the things that I realized really, really early. And it's pretty expensive on the front end because you gotta have the trucks, you've gotta have the staff, you've gotta have the people. But at some point, it gets really, really interesting because we're in the process because see here was the big hang up with creating the systems and processes with the storage auctions the bottleneck was having people go to the auctions and buy units so you had to hire someone pay them give them a bunch of money to pay for the units and trust their judgment that was the big bottleneck with the storage auction business because trying to hire people who were skilled in buying units was a daunting prospect. And that's where our business broke down because I was the buyer and my partner would buy at times. And I've just learned how to navigate and buy units. But after I left that business, I came here to YouTube. I began to use systems and processes to leverage the internet. One of the things I did was I began to use Amazon. Funny, funny little story about that. I put my book on Amazon paperback as a, at a higher price, hoping that people would see the higher price on Amazon and they would go to my website and get the PDF for cheaper. Did not work out. What happened is more people bought my book from Amazon than they did from my website. It was the craziest thing because Amazon has a high trust factor. So even though they could have gotten the same product somewhere else cheaper, people trusted Amazon and they paid more for the same thing they could have got somewhere else cheaper. You will see these marketplace inefficiencies all over the world. And, Essentially, like, you know, if you're starting a business and you're worried about competition, you worried about people, don't even worry about it. Go ahead and put your stuff out there because the world doesn't have your stuff. Like Savage Finance, personal finance is a very crowded area. I don't care. 
Savage Finance. Went ahead and put it together. Went ahead and put it out there. It's doing well. So do not let competition, because also one of the things is starting your business, stop looking for unexploited mega opportunities. I will admit the storage auction business, when I was in it, a lot of people did not know about it. It was like a hidden esoteric business. And this is what everyone's looking for. They're looking for this hidden esoteric business that they don't have to apply a lot of effort and they can make a gang of money because so many people don't know about it. Those things are so hard to come across. Don't even worry about looking for this. If you want to get into a crowded field, jump, get into it. Don't even worry about it's being saturated because if it's saturated, you know what that tells you? There's money there right now. There are so many food prep companies. Um, Essentially what they do is they send you a box of pre-organized food. Sometimes it's pre-cooked. Sometimes you just put it in the microwave and there are literally new ones, the green apron trifecta. So if you want to start a food prep company, you don't even have to go national. Do you know if you started a local food prep company, just dealing with bodybuilders and putting together their meals for them. Essentially, let's say you charged 50 bucks a week and you got yourself a hundred customers. hundred times 50 is 5,000. That's 20,000 a month. See, one of the things that you have to understand is the world is massive. There are so many people who need things and there are so many ways to exploit, to have an angle, to get into business. There, there are so many ways. So do not worry about if the market's saturated because one of the things is I see this all of the time here on YouTube. Is it too late to start a YouTube channel? No, it's not too late. Is it too late to start a podcast? No, it's not too late. Is it too late to start a blog? No, there are blogs that were started last year that are getting a million views per month this year. You got to be smarter. You've got to be more strategic. You've got to do the work. Once again, going back to the birth of your company in the beginning, you will be working really, really hard. And this is what has happened to me where literally I work hard because I enjoy what I do. But if I want to just take a week off, I could. All I got to do is go ahead and adjust a few things on the website, adjust the consulting and literally take a week off and just chill. I could do that anytime I want to. And this is a result of the work that I did years and years ago and the things that I have learned here on the Internet. Like today, I was thinking about, I might take the day off. I can do that anytime that I want to. And money, because of systems and processes, will still roll in. But understand, you have got to build your business. You've got to create these systems and processes. And this is going to take time. But you can have, like, I, I will tell you about systems and processes. I knew this doctor. His name is Jerry Borolazzo. He was an ER doc and Jerry loved the ladies. Jerry had been married like three or four times and he was always marrying these fine, hot, tender young things. And Jerry was divorced. And, you know, one day um, Jerry and Gahuli were having a conversation and Jerry let it slip that he was making five million dollars a year. And Gahuli is like, really? See, Borolazzo created a occupational health clinic on Fulton Industrial, and he had like five of them. He did not even go to these clinics. He worked his three shifts in the ER, and he ran those businesses. He did not work in those businesses. He hired nurses, staff, doctors to work in these clinics, and he collected big checks because he created a system he created a process. I remember uh, a friend of mine 
that I had encountered in the military, his father did something. And he said his father was always home. Even though he was a doctor, his, do his father did not work long hours. They enjoyed a great lifestyle. They had a house with a pool. There are so many ways that you have to do this, but you have to get it in your head that you want to win. Right now, we have the Rona. Right now is the best time in history to start a business if you are prepared. If you're not prepared, you have no money saved, you are like, let me just go ahead and give you the prepared speech and the not prepared. If you're prepared, you got money saved, you have low to no debt, you have very low burn rate, your burn rate is how much it costs you to live and sustain yourself, you can do so many things. If you are not ready, meaning you, you're in debt, you have no money, you lost your job, you're on the verge of being evicted, start a service business. So I got something for the people who are prepared and I got something for the people who are not prepared. And also, you're gonna have to get out of your own way because there are many people out here who are not in a position to pick, choose, and refuse, but they wanna be choosy. Nah, man, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. Like this guy who quit the Amazon job, he ain't really fit for anything else at the moment. He's 22, who knows what he could do in the future, but right now, that's the best he can do. And he don't wanna do it because it's hard. Understand, years ago, when I was in the same position where I had limited skills, limited talents, I got paid crap money to work trash jobs because that's all I was geared up for. That's all I was set up for. So you, you gotta go through this process of paying your dues. You gotta go through this process of getting yourself together. You gotta go through this process of putting it together and building it. But in two, in, in two to five years, you can be a millionaire. And definitely in 10 years, from today, 10 years into the future, you could be a millionaire, you can have a business that is automated, systemized, and you could be home with your wife and kids while your business is making you the money. You can do that, but you gotta go ahead and understand the process and understand what is going to happen during the process. You have got to understand that your company is a baby and we don't expect babies to go get us water or we, we don't expect babies to work, but so many people don't understand that their company is a baby and they want their company to do all these big and bold things like support them and itself before it's able. Just go ahead and if you are in the position where you want to start your company and you need a little help, I got a few things. First of all, let's talk about the people who have no money. 30 days to 2,500, the hustler's mindset. Links are below. Go at it, have at it, do the course, make your money. For those of you who are in a position to buy consulting, I have several different consulting packages. If you just want to ask a few questions, I have a 15 minute phone call. So essentially there are so many ways for you to get in, to get the advice, the help between the free content, the free courses, and for those of you who want to get there a little quicker, the paid consulting. All that stuff's below. Go at it, grab it, and I will see you guys in the next video. And matter of fact, watch this next video.